Hello. We have people come in all the time to the shop and say, I wish I knew how to quilt, or I wish I could quilt, or I could never learn. Well, I'm here to tell you that is far from the truth. And I wanna show you how easy it is to get started. Just the simple things you need to get started. First, you will need a cutting mat. Here's the cutting mats we use. They're self-healing and they're double-sided. So when we get done with one, we flip it over and use the other side, and then we flip it back. We also even have a thing that we can clean it with and make it fresh again and start using it again, flip it over. So self-healing is the way to go on the cutting mats. That's one place I don't chance. I won't say I'm gonna save on my cutting mat because I want the cutting mat that's self-healing. So you got the cutting mat. You're gonna need a rotary cutter. And there are a host of different rotary cutters. And you can see on this wall behind me all the notions we've got. And up here, we've got a lot of different rotary cutters. So there's a lot of different ones you can use, but just pick a rotary cutter and get started. Now that you've got your rotary cutter and your cutting mat, you're gonna need the sewing machine. You can do this by hand if you choose not to do the sewing machine, but it's a whole lot quicker and easier to do it by the sewing machine. So you'll need a sewing machine. Then you'll need some sort of ruler. There's lots of rulers and you see this wall right here of all the notions. There's a whole other wall over here of nothing but rulers. So there is a lot of rulers to pick from. There's a multitude of different ways to use certain rulers. All you want to begin with so I don't confuse you, it's just a certain, I mean a square or rectangular ruler. We've got ours with this OmniGrid gripper on it so that when we're cutting our fabric with that rotary cutter, it's not gonna slide. It's gonna have, hold it in place and we're gonna cut and it's gonna be a great clean cut. You don't have to have that, but you will need a ruler. So you've got the rotary cutter, the saw machine, the ruler, the cutting mat. Then you're gonna need pins. There's a host of different kind of pins you can use. Just grab you a basic set of pins and get started. As you progress through quilting, you may change your style of pin that you prefer, and that's fine. But just start with a basic pin. You'll need a pair of scissors, and I mean a good pair of scissors. You don't wanna go cheap on the scissors. Whatever scissors you use, you do not want to cut anything but fabric with them. You don't want to use them for, for paper or anything other than fabric because it will dull your scissors. And again, on this wall, we've got a host of different scissors. So you pick the scissors that you want to start with and call them your fabric scissors and go from there. Don't use them for anything else. Then you're going to need what most people don't want, but most people need. A seam ripper. They're no fun, but when it comes time that you've done something that you need to pull out those stitches for whatever reason, you're going to need this seam ripper and it's going to come in handy. Mine I use so much that I use the one that comes on a necklace because I'm constantly ripping out stitches. You don't want to, but at some point you're going to have to rip out seams. So keep your seam ripper handy and nearby. Then that's basically the basic things that you'll need to get started quilting. You'll need fabrics, of course, and you pick whatever you want, but we've got patterns and patterns galore. We have books and books and books of patterns and single patterns, whatever. But find you a simple book with patterns in it. Like here's one, and this is for jelly rolls. Jelly rolls are two and a half inch strips of fabrics rolled up like this. And this is a print from all of one line of fabric. So it's got all the different prints that are in that one line of fabric, meaning all of these match. You don't have to worry about, are these gonna look good together? Do I need to pick another? You don't need to do anything. It's already been done for you. So here's a roll of fabrics, a jelly roll and a book. So you'd go to whatever pattern that you found in here, whatever quilt you wanted to make that is in this quilt, in this quilt book, and this, and you start cutting. It's very, the directions in these are very simple and easy to follow. 
and you've got your quilt. So that's basically what you'll need to get started. Now there's a lot of other things to make your job easier. Uh, there's marking tools, there's all kinds of things. But for the most part, to get started, that's all you need, except one thing. I forgot to tell you, well, you're gonna need thread. You're not gonna get far without thread. When I'm using cotton fabric, which is what I use 99% of the time, I prefer a cotton thread. And then you'll make your own bobbins, or you can buy the bobbins that are pre-wound like this one. These are sulkies. That's the kind I like, but there's a lot of different ones. When you get in the world of quilting, you'll understand that there is, when, when you name one product in the quilting world, there's gonna be 25 different varieties of that pattern or more. But just pick one, get started, have fun with it, learn as you go, build up what you're learning from, and you'll have fun doing it. You'll meet a lot of great people along the way and there's quilt guilds, there's people that just meet in their homes and quilt together. It's just a fun, fun hobby and a very productive one as well. So y'all get started. If you're saying you can't do it, I'm here to tell you, you are wrong. You can do it. If you need help, contact us. We're here to help you. We'll do whatever we can. That's what we're here for. So call us, text us, Facebook message us, Whatever you need to do to ask a question, come on by. We're here. We'll help you all we can. And as always, like and subscribe. You knew I was going to throw that in there, and I did. So like and subscribe. We appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you later. Happy quilting.